What is up, everybody? It is Watch Coast 23, and this you're all watching some um, online team up, or not team up, but on uh, my team. And uh, you'll see this guy quit. We won't see him quit because I don't know what happened to that part of the recording, but I promise you that he backed out. Um, but just gonna talk about the NBA playoffs tonight. Obviously, Game Three of the Pacers Heat series been an intense um, series so far. Obviously, we've had some fights almost break out. <laughs> Um, some bad calls, some bad defending by the Pacers, some good defending by the Pacers. You know, it, it's been a back and forth series. I don't really know who the heck's going to win this thing. You know, I thought it was going to be the Heat easily, you know, maybe in six. Looking like it's going to go to seven. The Pacers have got to, in my opinion, win tonight if they want to win this series. If they want to take command and, and really push the Heat, they got to win tonight. Um, now, that's not to say that they can't win. Uh, they, they, it's not to say that they can't win anyway, but I think, in, you know, personally, I just think that they have to win tonight in order to really have a shot at knocking off the Miami Heat because uh, the Miami Heat are just too good. I think at home, even though they have beat, even though they did beat them at home, I think at home that they will. Uh, I don't think they're gonna lose another game at home. So the the Pacers have got to go home and defend home court and try to get up. Um, three games to one, even though I don't think that will happen either. I think it will be go back to Miami, knotted up two apiece. Um, but yeah, I, I, I like what the Pacers have doing, been doing. I think they, they honestly right now should be up 2-0. Um, you know, Heat fans will disagree, but the Heat, the Pacers outplayed the Heat both games, to be honest with you. And, you know, for game one, they outplayed the Pacers, or they outplayed the Heat from start to finish they really did and and they just didn't finish it you know LeBron James with the layup you know Roy Hibbert whatever wasn't there all that kind of stuff they don't make excuses but they just didn't finish plain and simple um but I think the Heat are overall a better team but they just got to pull it together now the Spurs up 3-0 and looking like they will sweep the Grizzlies who knows the Grizzlies might try to make a little bit of a run they ain't gonna come back but they might try to win a game or two but the Spurs, I don't think, the, to be per, to be perfectly honest, I don't think any team right now can beat the Spurs. I don't think the Heat, Pacers, any of those guys can beat the this, uh, the Spurs right now. Seriously, because the Spurs, they look like a, just an, on a different level than everybody. Like, they are just running through teams. I mean, they are, they are actually, this playoffs been relatively, it's been sl simple for them. Looking like the old, the older uh, Spurs back in the day with Timmy D and them guys back when they were younger. And, uh, you know, they're finally healthy and stuff like that. So they're running through players, they're running through teams. And I like to see the Spurs win. You know, they're, they're a good team, good organization. My favorite team is the Celtics, but Spurs... Have always been one of my favorite teams as well. You know, I like to see the I like to see Tim Duncan win and, and and those guys because they're they're a good group of guys and organizational organization is very nice. Um, but I think it would be a better series, uh, Heat versus Spurs, and I think the Spurs would actually win in six. If I had to predict, uh, I just think that they have a, they're a matchup problem because if you're if you watch the Heat, anytime they come up against, um. Good. I, I won this game, by the way. Anytime they come up against good um, big men, they always seem to, for some reason, have a problem. Obviously, they don't have a like Bosch is a good big man, but they don't, they don't ha ever have answers for like dominant big men like Tim Duncan. And that reason alone leads me to believe that they will lose in that series. It, whether how many games it will take, I have no idea how many games it's going to take. But I think they will lose in the, in the long run. And as you can see here, LeBron James is going to end up dropping 40 points in this game uh, right here. He, he's dominated, man. He's dropped 37 for me, 27 for me, 40 for me in the 20s at, in the every game. He's averaging probably like 30 almost a game for me, probably like 26, 27 points a game for me. If I just see, I don't know. You can't. Unfortunately, you can't check that. I wish you could. Uh, if there's one thing on the next uh, my team that they need to do that's put where you can check the player stats individually for you like um, I don't know if you can do that or not I don't think you can I wish you could though because that'd be really nice to be able to do um, 
but you'll see what I did later on. I sold LeBron James and picked up some picked up two people that will prove to be a pretty nice combo and I'm going to bring those two games out later on. I think I still have a couple more games of LeBron James to to show y'all on YouTube and then the new team will be out later. Um but yeah, man, I mean, I've been loving this I've been loving using LeBron, but I wanted to try somebody else um because, you know, LeBron's good, but I feel like I want a challenge. I want to use a little bit of a different team. I want to use somebody who's not as dominant as LeBron James because I feel like LeBron James is too good almost, you know, and and it's a little too easy for me to win. Um but yeah, uh, how much time is left in this? Oh, we got a little bit of time left. But yeah, <laughs> the Celtics, man. We got to regroup. I'm a Celtics fan, and if I'm looking to win a title, if I'm the Celtics, I keep KG and Paul Pierce. I make sure Rondo comes back healthy, but I try to get some other younger pieces in the draft. And also, look, if a good trade's out there, you go get it. But I like our future with, with Jeff Green and, and Rondo. Um, the, the one thing I would recommend doing is I know Fab Mello is a prospect for y'all or for us but we've got to get somebody else to really fill that void after kg has gone that's going to be dominant it's going to be we've there's been talks Blake Griffin might be on, in the mix or the trade so who knows but we, if we can get a dominant power forward for the future I like that Sullinger obviously got hurt but if he comes back and he, he can improve that would be good as well. So, you know, as a Celtics fan, it is tough to see us get hurt and depleted. Um, but we always seem to bounce back. But there have been tons of mistakes that Danny Ainge has made. We gave up James Posey. We uh, let uh, Leonard Poe go. We we let we let some good players go, man. And LeBron, you'll see here coming up his highlights. And uh, he dropped 40. If you want to uh, leave a like on this video, go ahead. That's always appreciated. Subscribe. Comment on who you think is going to play win the finals and um, who you and how many games who you think is going to win the finals the Spurs in 6 Heat in 7 Pacers in 6 uh, if you think the Grizzlies are going to come back whatever you want leave a comment down below also leave a comment on who you think I should buy next I've got about 30,000 VCs around there if I sell this guy that I got so leave a comment down below leave a like this watch s 23 signing out see you later